Uh, it is a little chilly out too, though, isn't it? Yeah, in the mornings, you're going to notice a bit of a chill. There's dry air in place, and that dry air allows the temperatures to really drop at night. The concern that we've been talking about has also been that we've had these northeast winds that have continued to carry the waves on the lake. Those northeast winds still continuing, but they will let up tonight. They'll also change directions. We talked a little bit about that earlier, but a nice, comfortable 70 and this dew point, the humidity on the lower side, especially for late uh, summer. So things are looking pretty good. We're set up pretty nicely for the rest of this weekend. Temperatures currently into the 70s, a little bit warmer away from the lake. Some mid 70s showing up on the map, and you'll see that on the larger picture as well. Most of the really warm air is farther to the south, and it looks like it's going to stay that way as long as we have north or northeast winds to kind of continue us through. The, the rest of the evening looks pretty nice. Clear skies for the most part will be a little bit of a chill for some of you, especially if you're still in that kind of summer mode. Temperatures are going to be into the 60s, and keep in mind, there's that northeast brisk wind that may add a little bit of a chill to you as well. Again, not necessarily chilly, but when you compare it to where we have been, we're definitely starting to uh, acclimate to maybe a late summer or early fall pattern. 50s expected for early morning, maybe a little bit warmer right along the rim of the lake as that northeast wind keeps you a little bit on the milder side. The lake having a bit of a moderating influence uh, for the next couple of days or so. Mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. Pretty good for Sunday as well, although we add a few clouds to it. We also add a few more degrees to the temperature and again, pretty nice conditions, but we've uh, switched this uh, wind out of the east and that should really help things out as far as conditions on the lake are concerned. Boy, you can make out where the high pressure is. Look at this clear skies. You have to go farther away from the high pressure to finally see some showers. Eventually that does move our way, but it doesn't happen Saturday. It's not going to happen on Sunday. That's pretty good news. The rain waits until after the weekend is done before it finally arrives and it will arrive. We expect it sometime by Monday, maybe even in the morning, but through about midday in the afternoon, some showers. I think we could even see some storms and heavier rain once we get later in the day on Monday. I've got it at about a 60% chance, but I got to tell you, I think that number is probably going to go up as we get through the weekend. We'll probably put that at about 80 to 90% once we get through Saturday and Sunday. That'll be for Monday, by the way. Scattered showers and storms is the only rain chance we have on Monday, Brad.